So in this problem, Taylor is pulling her wagon, and it doesn't say flat ground, but there's no hill described here, so it's going to be on flat ground. Let's choose a reasonable marker. All right, so there's the ground, and the wagon is here. We draw everything as a dot. We don't need to get creative. 15 pounds to pull her wagon across the yard, and now we are given an angle 14 degrees. So that's describing the direction she's pulling. So she's pulling not quite flat. She's pulling with 15 pounds. So that's the magnitude. And the 14 degrees is the angle right there. OK, this wagon is going to move to the right. And that's the displacement. And the work is the force dot product with the displacement. The displacement is very easy to compute. It's going 26 feet to the right, so that's why it's a positive 26 for the x-coordinate, and it's not going up or down, so it's 0 for the y-coordinate. That describes this arrow here going to the right. The force, we drew the force right there. Let's compute the force in the upper part. So I'm going to write this with the uh, magnitude. And then we have cos of the angle, sine of the angle. We know the magnitude is 15. We have cos 14 degrees, sine 14 degrees. And we can distribute the 15. So it's 15 cos 14 degrees, 15 sine 14 degrees, if I could write degrees. Okay. All we need to do is dot the F and the D together. So I'm just rewriting F is 15 cos 14 degrees, 15 sine 14 degrees, dot the vector D is 26, 0. And when we dot product, it's the first two multiplied together. So it's going to be 15 times 26 times sine 14 degrees plus the second two dotted together. I double underline those, but look at the second. The second y coordinate is 0, so this whole product is 0. And this is all we have right here. Uh, I'm not going to get the calculator out, uh, but if you do 15 times 26, make sure you're in degree mode and not radians on your calculator. And times sine 14 degrees, you'll get that value right there, 378.42. This does say round to two decimal places. I think I've turned down the accuracy, so you should be able to just put your whole precise answer in there. And that should be the end of the problem. So if you're following along, you probably saw me make a mistake. I put the sine function in here, but we're multiplying the first coordinate with the other first coordinate. So it should be cosine 14 degrees, not sine of 14 degrees. That second one is multiplied by zero and it will not show up. So make sure you have your cosine function in there. And I did type it into a graphing calculator. I did get the 378. I got 0.415, etc., but it does round to 378.42, so do round to two decimal places.